would have sent him back to Ireland if that connected. Looking right at the chest, Dennis Hogan of Nate Carroll. Trying to find success with that uppercut again because it's worked on many occasions. Again, Carroll back to the ropes. Oh, Carroll on the end of a nice left hook, but fights his way. Out of that issue, back into center ring. Here comes Carroll now. Halfway through round number six. A Big second. Nate walks into another one. A second win, perhaps. Here he comes. Nate Carroll, two knockouts and five wins. Final minute of the sixth. Time is running out for the blue corner, who wears a couple. Dennis Hogan doesn't give you a moment, not a moment's rest. Almost like a Jeff Fennec style, he's just sort of cramping you in the corner and doesn't let you out. No space, no space to breathe at all. There's a very good job of small movements in the middle of the ring, cutting that ring off. And again, he's done it perfectly without throwing a punch here. Cutting the ring off, putting Nate Carroll back into the corner. Walks into a big one, and Carroll struggling now, a monster. Right hand from Dennis Hogan on the bell. And it is all the Irishman. the two rounds remaining and we saw a second win from Nathan Carroll there but he's gonna have to produce something very special to defeat Dennis Hogan here Nathan Carroll's mum in the audience a very concerned Nathan Carroll's mum they touch him up it has been a war and they still touch them up. Great sign of sportsmanship. Trying to creep over the top of that shoulder was Carroll. Somewhere is going to be tasting defeat for the first time tonight as Carroll lands three or four onto the whiskers of Dennis Hogan. And this is it for Carroll. He knows he, he has to give it at all. He had to win this, these two rounds convincingly to be any chance in this fight. Is it as simple as equation as saying Nathan has to stop him to win this? Yeah, yeah I think so. I think so, Andy. At least, not, if, at least knock him down if he doesn't stop him. Half the crowd sprung into a carol chant and the Hogan supporters were not to be outdone. As Nathan dropped the right shoulder and in came the left hand right onto the chin from Dennis Hogan again. And a smile on the face of the Irishman. After that short right hand, almost a cheeky right hand. Dane Carroll bullied into the corner. Fast approach in the final minute of the penultimate round. Fought a light heavyweight five times, dropped the super middle on two occasions, and this second bout at middleweight for Queensland honours. 
Another nice cracking here. right end. Oh, he's got his hand down. Oh, he's got his hand down. The kid is on. Seven. Eight. Hands up. Right. 30 seconds to survive round number seven. And he's done the right thing. Get on his bike. Holding on. He does not look fresh. The legs are weary. Taking the shots on the body. He's got to move. He's got to move. He can't be trapped in that corner. Oh, a big oh. left hand from Hogan and again. That's enough. That's it. That is enough. It is over. Dennis Hogan is the new Queensland middleweight champion. We called it to be fight of the night. It was pretty close, I reckon. What a performance from Dennis Hogan. What bravery from Nathan Carroll. Different styles. But styles make fights. And no longer is the fighting Irishman the best kept secret in Aussie boxing. performance from the now 9 and 0 Brisbane native main event caliber action on Friday night fights but there is still more to come the onslaught the big left hook by Dennis Hogan. That was the start of the end for Nathan Carroll. Left hand, right hands, uppercuts, left hooks, right hooks. Nothing was enough. It was the, the punches accumulated in round five, six, and early in seven, and he just wore down Nathan Carroll until there was nothing left. Let's make it official. Let's go center in to Pete. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. We have a uh, tremendous fight here tonight. Would you put your hands together for both of our champions here? Dennis Hogan. Tremendous uh, fight. And of course, Nathan Carroll. Ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes, 57 seconds into the seventh round. The referee stopped the fight in favour of the red corner. The new Queensland champion, Dennis Hurricane Hogan. What emotion here at the Mansfield Tavern. They are loving it. A main event quality fight and still our semi-main and main are to come. Next up, Omar Sheikh defends the Australian super middleweight title against Friday, Nawawu, and then Philip Maley and Mark Flanagan are our main event in the Queensland Lion heavyweight title. Let's take a moment and get to know the current Aussie super middleweight champion, Omar Sheikh. Oh, it's just the, 